All right, folks. Welcome to Dragon Works again. 1982 Suzuki GS1100L. And you guys remember this project? I've had it in here quite a while. And it's been kind of getting neglected like some of my other big projects. Uh, because I ended up overbooking work this season. And it seemed like every bike that came in, say it was coming in for a carburetor clean, ended up needing a bunch more stuff. And that kind of spiraled out of control and I uh, became overwhelmed with work. <laughs> and a lot of these projects were getting neglected. I was only able to work on them a couple hours a week. I usually try to give them, you know, one day per week, but actually I got five big projects like this. So that means I wouldn't be able to work on any of the other stuff that came in. So I've been dividing up work uh, between everything. So anyway, that's just the way it is. Um, I'm, you know, I, look, fortunately, I have great customers and they've been very patient and understanding and I thank them for that. So uh, I'm going to get into where I'm at with this thing because there's a lot to talk about. But what I wanted to do was every week I start it up and run it. I've been breaking in the engine because if you remember I rebuilt the top end of the engine and everything. So I've been breaking it in and I'm about to do my startup so I thought I would do a cold start for you and I'm gonna let it run uh, long enough that it'll warm up and we can watch the thing idle so hey here we go and like I say this is cold start it hasn't run in over a week Uh, just in case, I'll make sure. Because that thing started right up. I just want you to know that this thing has not been running. Um, that's great. So, hey, let's do it again. I won't need so much choke this time. the next day um, I've been shooting these videos on my camera phone because it's like the best camera I got actually and I keep it on silent so we don't get disturbed during the videos and little did I know yesterday while I was rambling on for like another eight to ten minutes on that video that the video had stopped because somebody had called <laughs> so uh, anyway it didn't matter because what I realized you couldn't really hear me why I had it running so you see it starting and running good uh, and all that but what I was talking about was the fact that I built this engine a while back and I'd just been breaking it in and once a week I start it and run it to, just to keep it running really good uh, during that period and everything. And uh, I've been sidetracked from these bigger projects with all that work. I know I've talked about it in other videos, but I had kind of a crazy 
spring rush that is still going on. Uh, a lot of these pipes that we thought would be a carburetor clean or something ended up needing a bunch more work and uh, just threw my schedule into a tizzy and some of these people um, have been getting a little bit neglected. I've got that pretty much under control now and um, I pretty much got that under control and now you know get back on some of these projects and knock them out so you'll be seeing more of this. Uh, it should have been way further along but I actually had some problem with the paint job. This is basically a what I call a four stage paint job. Here's the tank and primer. I'm not sure if it's even on the video. <laughs> uh, I already had this base coated once and I had to sand it off. I call this a four stage because you get a black base coat, then the burgundy red, then your stripe, then you clear coat it. And I already had sanded this, laid down the black base coat, and I came in the next morning and it just didn't look right. It looked like it was super thin or something and you could almost see the primer underneath where I'd sanded it and what have you. And it just didn't make sense, it didn't add up. So I called the paint supplier first before I did anything. And he said, yeah, we, had, we ended up with a bad batch of paint. Uh, something about the binders in the paint, I don't know, but I had to sand it all back off and primer it. Um, the only problem I have now is for the last week and a half, two weeks or whatever, I've been trying to do it. Uh, it's been thunderstorming and a bunch of other things. So what I normally do is move uh, everything outside and I kind of block off an area so I can do a nice paint job and I haven't been able to do that. Um, and also I, I was full and I've got a lot of bikes out of here this week. A lot of work done this week and now I got a little more space so I'll be able to get back on that. The other thing you may see I got a front tire sitting here. Um, we went on the, on the last bike we went with regular black wall tires and we got the uh, letters that you glue onto the tires and that's okay but the customer said hey let's this time let's just try to find some raised white letter tires and it's almost impossible 16 rear 19 front hardly anybody makes that anymore with raised white letters and they're all uh, 17s and 18s now so I ordered a set I was all excited and the front tire showed up and the back tire never did and I waited waited it never showed up nothing no email or anything so I called the company and they were very apologetic uh, little old lady answered it's a huge motorcycle company <laughs> but um, anyway she said sorry you know they usually send out an email and whatever and it must have got missed so I immediately ordered another one and within two days they emailed me and said uh, and that was a pretty big company I can't remember which one um, but they emailed and said, hey, we're out of stock. It's discontinued or something. So immediately panicked and started looking. And as of now, I haven't even found it. Um, every time I find it and go to order it, then it shows they don't have it. Or immediately they tell me they don't have it. So probably going to have to go to plan B or C. Um, not exactly sure, but I'm still kind of searching for it. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, I'm going to do a much better video uh, just getting back on it and I was just going to fire the thing up and I brought you guys along for a video and then little did I know uh, it turned into a mess there anyway so I just thought I'd recap here this morning uh, before I got started and talk a little bit about it. Uh, I got a bunch of projects here I'm going to be doing updates. I'm, like I say I'm finally starting to be able to get on this stuff and I'll be getting it knocked out. Uh, the Mean Green Harley machine behind me has come a long way and we'll be doing a video on that. I did one on the Vespa Yesterday, I got some a lot done on that, finally, so bear with me, folks. The videos will get better, uh, and you'll get some more content now that I'm kind of getting a grasp on things. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. Tell your friends. Send some work. Dragon says peace out. I hope the video is good enough.